What up, YouTube? Back with another little video. And this one is like way, way off topic, way, way off whatever the case may be. It's me sharing my thoughts, right? But as the title says, why do I love the American Pitbull Terry? Quick story. <clears throat> Several stories. Hopefully they're all, you know, in alignment. <clears throat> I'm walking home. I just came back from, you know, downtown or whatever the case may be. I'm literally like on my way home. And I see this man across the street. And this man has an American Pitbull Terrier. But mind you, I got headphones in my ears. I'm minding my entire, I'm minding my business. I'm going where I'm going. I'm not, I'm not thinking about nothing. Now, something said, look to your right. And I looked over and I saw the man with the dog minding his business. When I say I literally had to stop. Cause that dog, it, it just looked, so, it, it looked, it looked, it, 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 it was healthy. It was, it was, it was the right structure. It was the right size. It was the right color. It was looking like the right weight. That looked like a perfect breed standard of the American pit bull terrier. No, 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 not, not, not the American bully. Not an American Staffordshire Terrier. Not an American Bulldog. Not a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. This was a purebred American Pit Bull Terrier. When I kid you not and tell you, I had to stop walking home, literally turn around and go tell that man, Sir, do you know that you have the authentic and the true, real deal American Pit Bull Terrier? He was a tall man too. He was like, yes, I know. I said, you know. Do you know your dog's bloodline? You know, I'm I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, asking him certain questions just to make sure he knows what he's talking about. You feel me? And he's like, yes, I have my dog's, you know, bloodline. I mean, you know, so yeah, 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 booty, booty, boo. I said, okay, cool. Does your dog have ADBA uh, paperwork? He says, yes, my dog does. And, you know, we started to chop it up for a little bit, for a little bit, for a little bit. <clears throat> but... You know, we just had like this little like conversation j just about, you know, dogs. And he was telling me that his dog was, you know, um, you know, it's not human aggressive. Now, the media tends to distort the truth in regards to that breed. In fact, every fucking dog with a big head to the media is a pit bull. And that's not the case. Like nine times out of ten, sometimes... Well, majority of the times, it's actually probably going to be an American bully. You feel me? American pit bull terriers do not come in 100 pounds, 110 pounds, 90 pound dogs. If it is, that dog was mixed somewhere down the line within his bloodline with some whole other shit. You feel me? They don't come in the color gray or blue. You feel me? American pit bull terriers come in fawn, black and tan, black, chocolate. Brindle, shit like that. You feel me? <clears throat> and when you actually start to talk about the breed to certain people, like they just think that you know that the that the American uh, pit bull terrier is like human aggressive. No, for anybody out there who knows anything about the American pit bull terrier and the true breed and 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 how the breed like came about, you understand that it is it is not human aggressive once it's bred properly. You feel me? If that dog is bred properly, the American Pit Bull Terrier is not human aggressive. Point blank, period. Facts. Facts. There's no doubt in that shit, man. They're, and they are great when it comes to children. The American, the true American Pit Bull Terrier is great when it comes to children. These are facts. 100% facts, man. So, like, I, like, we just had, like, a really small, you know, conversation just about dogs. And, like, it made me realize, like, yo, I'm really an enthusiast when it comes to this breed. Like, point blank period. Like, I remember being in school and, you know, when I was in college, I would have a test, let's just say Monday. Monday mid-afternoon at like, you know, or early afternoon, let's just say at like 11 a.m. for a subject I probably need fucking help in. But for the most part, I was pretty cool in school once I applied myself. But that's neither here nor there. But what I'm saying is like, Sunday evening... From like 7 o'clock at night, possibly 6, like just after the time, like, you know, after I ate dinner, 
I would be on my phone and like I would just or a laptop and I would be so immersed in information and diving deep in and 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 just reading and learning and find and doing research about this breed. I, I am an enthusiast about the American Pit Bull Terrier point blank period. That is my favorite dog breed of all time. Is that that and like the European Doberman like those two breeds have a special place in my heart. Now, mind you, I've never had either or of those dog breeds. Although, you know, I I, I had one American Pit Bull Terrier, which was a, you know, it's, it was an, an experience because I didn't know what exactly what I had, but I ain't even going to dive into that. But that breed, man, like, that breed is just so, it is so, like, it's, it's just so, like, degraded and it's talked down upon and it's looked down upon. And people have these misconceptions about the American Pit Bull Terrier. And a lot of the times they're not educated in the breed, the breed standard, the breed history, how it's bred, the breed's characteristics, the breed's temperament, the breed health, nothing. Like, I would be so immersed in, in in just doing research. Like, by the time I look up, it's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I have a test at, like, 11 a.m. Because I was just, I would dive so deep into it. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm just an enthusiast. And shout out to my cousin, Dogman, because Dogman was, um, Dogman is, like, one of the main reasons why, from a child, like, I, I'm just so infatuated with this goddamn breed. You feel me? Like he he had a dog, um, spicy. That whoo that bitch that 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 was a that that was a bad bitch. And looking back, I was I was scared of the fucking dog. So I don't even know how I grew up, you know, be becoming infatuated with the breed. But I think it was because I was just around them, you know, for the most part. When I, you know, would go see like family members and stuff like that. But the American Pit Bull Terrier, man, I could talk on and on and on and on and on and on about this goddamn breed. You feel me? Like I, I watch, to this day, I watch, I ask him questions about the breed. I watch a lot of YouTube videos about the breed. And like, I just feel like, you know, I need to actually get an American Pit Bull Terrier. You feel me? I just have to, you know... I talk to breeders. I, I I already know what the hell I exactly I, I would look for. You know, I I already know certain bloodlines. You know, like you have Boyle's bloodline, Eli bloodline, G Carver, Bolio, Tombstone, uh, Turtle Buster, um, Red Boy Jocko, um, Mayday, Chinaman. Those are real bloodline American pit bull terriers. You feel me? I'm not talking about an American bully. You know, something like uh, I don't know. I, I used to think that Remy Line was like an American pit bull terrier and like come to find out like that's like an American bully, you know, shit like that. But, you know, just, just, I'm just, I'm just infatuated with the breed. I wish a lot of people would do a lot more homework in regards to, in regards to that breed because there's a lot of misunderstandings. There's a lot of miseducation. There's a lot of uh, misinterpretation in regards to that breed. And I know I don't come on here on my YouTube and talk about the, like, you know, like my infatuation with the breed, but like when I just now seen that man and his dog, like it just it just brought back this enthusiastic childhood memory that it was like, yo, like I'm really, 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 I really and truly love that breed, man. I, I love that breed. It is like one of the best breeds of all times. It is very smart, very intelligent. It doesn't shed a lot of hair because it has no fucking hair to shed. It is a, for the most part, it is a. Predominantly healthy breed. If it's bred properly, it is intelligent. It is great with kids. It makes a great pet. If you want it to be a pet, you can. It's it's also a working dog. You feel me? It's also a working dog. So you have to know your breeder. Um, you have to know the breed standards. You have to know what your breeder is breeding for. You have to know you know the temperament, the characteristics. It is just, ah oh man, I love talking about that dog, man. I really, really enjoy I'm like 10 minutes into the goddamn video already, you feel me? And it's just like, yo, I love, I really and truly love that breed, man. And one day I'm going to get me a dog. I'm going to get me a dog, man. I, I'm i just, I, that that guy's dog, it was just so, it, it it looked like a perfect specimen of what a properly bred American Pet Bull Terrier should look like. You feel me? I watch a ton of YouTube videos, man. Big up uh, Thompson's Kennels and Southern Triple J. And, you know, those guys, like, they, they taught me a lot. You know, they taught me a lot. Uh, shout out to my cousin, Doug, man, too. 
he taught me a lot, literally, like, by going to Brooklyn and by, like, watching him dog train and watching him, you know, just do certain things with his dogs. I'm ranting now, you know what I mean? But I just thought I'd come on here and share my thoughts about the American Pit Bull Terrier. For those of you guys who don't know, that is something that, like, I just, I'm infatuated with. And one day, you know what? I, I, I need to, like, you know, just, like, establish my own bloodline and, you know, just, you know, just have my own family tree of dogs and you know maybe I should just become a breeder at that you know what I'm saying and just have my own kennel it takes a long time to establish a bloodline because you have to do inbreeding and line breeding and all these things but I'm just an enthusiast man I'm an enthusiast I'm infatuated yo if you have an American pit bull terrier you are a good person unless you're an asshole and you you know and you condone dog fighting and all that fuckery nah man like in 2020 man like I just Yo, I just love that dog breed, man. You feel me? I feel like once I get my dog, whenever the time is right, I'm going to be so happy, man. But just so that I said, I stood, I share those thoughts with you guys. If you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Kevin More, man. One love. Bless.